If you have been considering a magnesium supplement, you would have known by now that there are so many different forms to choose from which makes it very confusing to know which one is the right one. By the end of this video, I'm going to give you all the information needed so you can make an informed decision about which magnesium is the right one for you. So let's get started. Before we get to the confusing stuff, first let's talk about why our body needs magnesium. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body, and it's mostly stored in our bones. It plays an important role in assisting more than 300 enzymes to carry out various chemical reactions in the body, such as building proteins in strong bones and regulating blood sugar, blood pressure, and muscle and nerve function. Magnesium also acts as an electrical conductor that contracts muscle and makes the heart beat steadily. We can get magnesium from various foods such as legumes, dark green leafy vegetables like spinach, nuts, seeds, whole grains and fortified cereals. It is also found in fish, poultry and beef. The recommended daily intake of magnesium for adults is between 400 to 420 mg for men and 310 to 320 mg for women. Despite magnesium being found in many foods, believe it or not, some research shows that nearly two-thirds of the population in the Western world does not achieve the recommended daily allowance. Also, magnesium deficiency is more common among people with alcohol use disorder, gastrointestinal disease such as Crohn's, and type 2 diabetes. Some early signs of magnesium deficiency include loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. As the deficiency worsens, you might notice numbness, tingling, muscle contractions and cramping, seizures, and personality changes. Now that we have talked about magnesium overall, let's talk about some of the popular forms of magnesium that can be found in the market. It may be a little bit confusing, but I'll try to simplify it as much as possible for you. All the magnesium that you will find on the market is generally bound to something. Magnesium can be bound to different compounds to either increase absorption, decrease absorption, or alter how magnesium gets into your cells. You have to know which one to take as different preparations are used for different things, such as some may be used for constipation while the other might be used for sleep and anxiety. The first magnesium we'll talk about is magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is a form of magnesium that's bound with citric acid. It is one of the more common magnesium supplement formulations that can be purchased in stores worldwide. Magnesium citrate contains 16% elemental magnesium. This means that a supplement containing 900 mg of magnesium citrate has roughly about 144 mg of elemental magnesium. This is important to know because if you use a dose that isn't high enough, you will not experience the benefits. Magnesium citrate has a high bioavailability and much is absorbed after ingestion. Once ingested, magnesium citrate works by increasing the water in the colon by a process known as osmosis. The extra water helps create more feces, which stimulates bowel movement and acts as a laxative for constipation. This is also important to know as one of the most common side effects of magnesium supplements is diarrhea. The second form of magnesium is magnesium oxide, which is a salt that combines magnesium with oxygen. It has the highest elemental magnesium at 60%, but is generally not absorbed very well and gut absorption is believed to be as low as 4%. You will find magnesium oxide in many poor quality supplements as it is cheap and is not a good choice for someone looking to increase their magnesium level. Because of its poor absorption, much of the magnesium stays in the stomach and may help to relieve digestive complaints like heartburn and constipation. Next, we have magnesium sulfate, which is magnesium bound to sulfur and oxygen. This is not the type of magnesium you would take orally, but one that would be used in the bath, also known as Epsom salts. When magnesium sulfate is dissolved in water, it releases magnesium and sulfate ions. The idea is that these particles can be absorbed through the skin, bypassing the gastrointestinal tract to promote relaxation and ease sore muscles. Magnesium l 308 is formed from mixing magnesium with threonic acid, which is a water-soluble substance derived from the metabolic breakdown of vitamin C. This is a new and emerging type of magnesium that has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and affect the neurological symptoms of magnesium deficiency. Due to its unique property, several animal studies have shown beneficial results of magnesium l 308 in certain brain disorders such as depression, Alzheimer's disease, age-related memory loss, and improving overall cognitive function. The last type of magnesium we will talk about is magnesium glycinate or bisglycinate. Alternatively, it is also known as chelated magnesium, which refers to magnesium attached to an organic molecule or amino acid such as glycine. 
The benefit of this chelating agent is to protect it through the digestive process and make it more easily absorbed through the gastrointestinal tract. Also, it is designed to be gentler on the stomach and may cause less diarrhea. This makes it a good choice for someone that needs to boost their magnesium levels due to magnesium deficiency, but does not want the side effects of taking magnesium supplements. It is also believed to have calming properties, and that's likely why magnesium supplements have gotten their reputation as something to help with sleep and anxiety. To sum it up, magnesium is a vital mineral for your health, but the type you choose matters. Assess your individual needs and consult with a healthcare provider to select the right magnesium supplement for you. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest health tips and insights. See you in the next video. Stay healthy and stay amazing.